Welcome to another episode of Blue Demon Exchange. I'm Gene Honda, public address announcer for the Paul Men's Basketball. And in that position, I get the pleasure of welcoming the new director of athletics for DePaul, the ninth person to sit in that chair. And I get to welcome Dwayne Peavy. Mr. Peavy, how are you? I'm doing great. Uh, glad to be here. Um, excited about the start. I'm almost a month in and uh, can't wait to get many more. So when was your first day on the job? September 1st. My last day at Kentucky was August 31st. I wasn't smart enough to put any kind of time in between that. But we've been able to hit the ground running uh, with uh, the fall quarter getting started shortly thereafter. I didn't want to waste any time getting on board and um, dreaming big every day. So how's the adjustment been for you? And how's it been for your family? Or are they here yet? So my family actually is arriving this weekend. So I got to Chicago two weeks before them. And uh, it's been good. They're excited. They can't wait to get up, up, get up here. I think they feel like they're missing out on things. And, and I, I'm excited for them to be here, too. So my wife, Allison, my son, Braden, and my two dogs, they'll all be here uh, this weekend. I'm staying across the street at the university house for now, temporarily, until uh, we f close on our house here. We're staying in, we got, we got a house in Lincoln Park, a condo in Lincoln Park. Uh, so we'll be nearby. And we just can't, just can't wait to be full-on Chicagoans, so. You know, everyone has an idea of what they want to do first when they get a new job. Were you able to do that? <laughs> or, or when did that fall in the order there? <laughs> the good thing is that I wrote things down and I had a plan to make sure I followed it the way I wanted to. So the first thing was starting one-on-one -on -one meetings. Um, and in the pandemic, that's a little different during that. Uh, but some were virtual, some in person. But I met, I met one on one with all ten of our head coaches and all our all of our department heads. And so that was the first thing I was able to do, which really gave me a good inside view of DePaul athletics, uh, hearing it straight from their mouths. And now I think we're all focused, we're heading in the right direction. Now it's time to expand those meetings to the rest of the staff to some of our external constituents. I've already started meeting with the alums, some of our supporters, and you know, do a little bit of friend raising along with fundraising. And so it's, uh, it's been a good start in uh, just integrating ourselves fully into the campus. One of the things you said during your press conference was the phrase, dreaming big. Now, is that a mantra? Is that a marketing slogan or somewhere in between or both? I don't know. Well, there was no pre-plan to talk about that, but it really signifies who I am. Um, I think one of the things I've learned in my time in college athletics is as I've advanced in my career in athletic administration, it was being a big picture thinker is probably what got me a chance to be in this seat today. And it's what drives me. Um, it's one of the reasons I wanted to come to DePaul and I, hopefully it's one of the reasons they chose me. And I think all of the incredible things that you know, Jeannie was able to accomplish here, not just in her 18 years in this seat, but in her 45 plus years at DePaul, uh, unbelievable track record of success. And so for me to come in to follow that, what's the challenge? And, you know, it's not the same as where you go into some places where it's broken and you got to fix things. So my goal and my charge is, as I mentioned before, is to take the baton for her, be that anchor leg, and let's go set a world record. So really dreaming big, thinking about, okay, let's just take a different outside look of what else and what our next steps are at DePaul. And um, so my vision is that. And so I'm trying to put together a dream team so we can really focus on what's the next step of our future and how that looks for DePaul Athletics. Because in one of your first interviews that you did when you accepted the position, you said in talking with some other people, that there were some wonderful parts of DePaul that attracted you to the position. Right. What were some of those parts? Well, first, the family atmosphere and the culture of this place is something that I've been a byproduct of a long time. And, you know, my kids, my family, they grew up in athletics. And so that's something that attracted me that I was going to be joining another family. And so, one, it probably made them feel a little more comfortable with me, too, from a staff standpoint. Two, Chicago. I've never spent any summer in Chicago. I've come to Chicago numerous times, loved the city, but never been here during the summer. And so all these visits here during the summer gave me a new perspective of why people love it here so much. The other pieces are 
you know, the school, the academic prow prowess. I never knew as much about DePaul and so I started researching the job. And I told our uh, president that we probably got to brag a little more about what's going on here on our campus and using that in recruiting. I've already talked to some of our coaches and said, you don't realize this is not normal, the success that you're able to have on this campus. We need to talk about that more. And I think just that community field, Lincoln Park really attracted me. Um, my family, my wife, Allison, uh, my daughter, Caitlin, was with us on that trip, too. Uh, we kind of snuck on the Lincoln Park campus the 4th of July weekend. This is before I even formally, I guess, applied for the job. And it, it just spoke to us. It felt like home. And then at that point, I was just hoping things would play out uh, to where I could be here one day. You know, you say snuck onto campus, but in many ways, that's a great way to find out more about a university is having someone who's either in school or eligible to go into school and get their opinion, right? Right. I think Caitlin was a little upset. She's a freshman at Kentucky State at Frankfurt right now. She said, you would be looking at a job like this at this place in a big city, which she loves, when I've just decided to go to school <laughs> elsewhere. So we'll, be, we'll continue that, our recruiting efforts. Uh, but it definitely spoke to her, and I think she was she was in from the start that this would be a great place. Well, we're going to have time to find out more about the director of athletics, but now we'd like to find out about Dwayne Peavy. Okay. So we like doing rapid fire. I'm going to put 30 seconds on a clock, oh and then ask as many questions as I can jam in in 30 seconds. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Morning person or night owl? Night owl. Okay. Iced coffee, hot coffee, tea? Iced coffee. Ketchup or mustard? Ketchup, for sure. We have to talk about hot dogs for that then. Uh, <laughs> thin crust or deep dish? Ooh, I really like both. <laughs> A little bit of both. All right, try this one then. Beer or wine? Beer. Summer or winter? Chicago summer. <laughs> You know, that's true because you haven't seen a Chicago winter yet. <laughs> summer, summer where I'm from in Alabama wasn't the greatest. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends. Uh, do you equate summer with being humidity season, too? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's a little negative. <laughs> so, as I said, we're going to have a chance to be able to hear more about the director of athletics and the future of athletics, and we'll do that in our next segment. So, thank you to Dwayne Peavy, and we'll see you on our next episode of Blue Demon Exchange. Thanks, Gene.